Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, we're getting ready for our live stream. We'll be following, of course, Philly 500, and hopefully we'll see him melt down and so on. And hopefully the commanders lose, and maybe we don't lose so much ground in the NFC East. Um, what's funny is... I had to do some running around and things uh, this morning, and um, I was like, I hadn't heard from my dad. And so I called my dad. I said, Dad, I said, I needed to uh, get your pics and stuff. He said, where you been, man? I've been calling you left and right. I left your voicemails. So he is like, I got to get my back, my pics in for the day. So I was like, I got you. I got you covered. So we got his pics with BetUS done uh, for the day, of course, for him and so on. But I want to have a real conversation here. I want to have a real conversation about Dak Prescott and the Cowboys' struggles. Um, it's no secret that I've been a fan of Dak Prescott and believe that Dak Prescott is a good quarterback and a good quarterback for us. Um, other people think that all of our problems stem from Dak Prescott. Now, I'm going to say that, yeah, you look at the interceptions that Dak has had. He's got six interceptions. Um, mind you, I'm sorry, five interceptions um, with the eight TDs. But here's the thing that's interesting. It's like, do you realize that Kansas City, which is 5-0, and oh, that you've got six uh, TDs and six interceptions for Pat Mahomes? So clearly... Clearly, uh, unless Pat Mahomes' touchdowns count for 14 points as opposed to Dax being seven. Now, if that's the case, then you have to say, well, you know, Pat Mahomes is doing things that Dak Prescott isn't. But here's the thing is you also have to look at the makeup of the team, the coaching, and what everybody else is doing. Now, the boys' headline, they, they tweeted this out this morning, which is, to me, spot on. The narrative that Dak is at fault for Cowboy struggles is lazy. And that's kind of what I've said. You know, ultra Cowboy, you always come in here. I've been a Dak fan for years ago, but I'm sick of this guy. He's a bum. Get him out of here and things like that. I, I hear what you're saying, but I don't know that you can put it all solely on Dak Prescott. Okay? I, I don't think you can. He's in the top five in passing yards. And this is what he's going against. The Dallas Cowboys rushing the football. Yards per game, 32nd. We are the worst at running the football. Yards per carry, we are the worst in football. Now, if you don't know football, if you don't know football, you'll say it's just a quarterback. But think about the great Dallas Cowboys teams where you have not one but two Hall of Famers on the roster, Tony Dorsett, and the all-time leading rusher, Emmett Smith. What what would be what would the Cowboys have been without having that? Well, let, let's say this: What would Roger Staubach and Troy Aikman would having been with having the worst rushing attack in football? Are they winning five Super Bowls? I'm I'm asking for a friend, and I'm being 100 percent serious. Okay. That is a handicap to your offense, making you one-dimensional. Because when you can't run the football, defensive linemen love the fact that you can't run the football. They, you know, as a defensive lineman, you love when they are passing the football because that's when you get to be aggressive. The term defense means you're being defensive. And typically when you're running the football, you're trying to hold the ground. You're trying to read where they're going, not when they're passing the football. When they're passing the football is, we're having a party and we're meeting at the quarterback. You pin your ears back and you just go, which, of course, makes it hard on the offensive line because they're coming like a raging bull. Okay, that's the first problem. The next problem that we have to, that Dak has to overcome, hurries allowed in, in the game. Hurries. The Cowboys are the worst. Dak Prescott is under more pressure than anybody else in the NFL. He's got more hurries. The Cowboys give up more hurries than everybody else. Pressures per game. Cowboys are fourth. Okay, so now, 
let's see if we we set the narrative now. What if Troy Aikman didn't have the dooms? Excuse me, the Great Wall of Dallas in front of him. Okay. What if he didn't have those guys and he was constantly under pressure? Would we have won three Super Bowls? And then you add to it that he doesn't have Emmett Smith. Okay. All right. Forget those things right there. Let's look at another matrix that we got going on here. And it's incredible that we literally are the worst in so many categories. Average target separation. That is the space between the receiver and the next closest guy, the defensive back, linebacker, whoever. The Dallas Cowboys are 32nd. That's the worst in the NFL. So when we talk about, remember, you know, seeing the playmaker down the field wide open or Alvin Harper going across the middle and stuff, right? You don't have those things. You don't have those things with the Cowboys. So I ask you, is Troy Aikman and Roger Staubach winning the Super Bowl without Emmitt Smith and without Tony Dorsett and the worst running game in football, under pressure more than anybody else, with the least separation with the wide receivers. Oh, and a defense that allows the third most points in the NFL. I'll be honest with you. I, I, I don't I don't know how you're supposed to I, I don't know how anybody is supposed to thrive with that. I don't care who you're talking about in the NFL. Nobody else has to do more. And, and I get it, you know, people are gonna say, well, that's why you get paid sixty million dollars. People. That's an impossible task. I love how he put this in the end. I don't understand what's expected when we have the worst run game in the NFL, one reliable receiver who's doubled the maturity of the snaps, and an offensive line who's allowing him to get hit on a good amount of his dropbacks, and a defense who can't figure out what they're doing. Nobody will admit it, but no quarterback would succeed with this lack of luck or surrender the cast. Let's be realistic. And that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I don't know that Pat Mahomes, if you put what we have right now out there, who right now has a better coach, a better defense, better players around, a better running game, that Pat Mahomes, who's got six TDs and six interceptions, that he's doing any better than this. It's impossible. But, you know, I'm just a Dak fanboy. So... None of it matters. And it doesn't, I, I, I'm literally speaking, I've got words coming out of my mouth, but nobody will take credence to any of it. And that's okay. But at least I can speak my mind. All right, good people. I'll see y'all in a bit here for our games on week number seven. Peace out.